Matt Lenehan for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined by Macaulay McGowan. Macaulay, you got another huge opportunity. We, we, we were there in France, you got robbed blind. But you're now on a boxer show again in a terrific fight against Tyler Denny. I believe I was with Joe when he heard about this announcement, but he didn't tell me what it was. And, but, I, but I could tell by the smile on his face it was going to be a cracker, and I think this will be fight of the night. How do you feel coming into this? I've, I've trained. I've trained the best I've probably trained. I've sacrificed so much. I'm just happy now. I'm like I'm at peace. Like there's not more I could have done. Come Saturday, keep everything in check, and I, and I believe I get a win in a in a cracking fight. All things will be a good fight. We spoke a few weeks ago at the Champs Camp gym in Mossai, Manchester, and how you've turned a corner. You, you know, we mentioned about the laughing and the joking side of it, but you really have now switched on to. I'm a serious fighter now. This part of my career is going to be about me getting the best out of my talent. Do you believe the work you've done sort of with Joe over the past couple of months now is taking you to that extra level, um, the level you need to be at to beat the likes of a Tyler Denner, who is on a terrific run of form? Yeah, Tyler's on a great run of form. Like, look at the lad that he's beat and stuff. Um, I've all had unbeaten records. So that's just brought the best out of me. I've trained so hard. It's brought the best out in all of us. Uh, and I'm, I'm re I really think it's my time. I do. I honestly believe it. I've put everything into it. He's not just talking either, I've put the action in as well. And yeah, like you say, the last few months with Joe, yeah, it's been a good run, but it's like, I've been with Joe nearly, it'll be coming up two years soon. So it's been like two years every day, non stop. So yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I know Tyler's on a good run, but I'm, I'm about to hit my peak here now, I'm coming a good run. Is this, yeah, you know, when you mentioned there you're about to hit your run, is this sort of your moment where we see you now take over and go on a bit of a, a, bit of a winning streak? You've had, you've had your, your, your downs and things like that. and Obviously, everyone knows what happened in Paris and stuff, but putting that to the back of your mind, is this, is this, you feel like this is your moment? This is my moment, yeah. I just, I just feel it. You know when you just feel it? I, just, I, I really do. I just feel it. I, just, I, I know it. It's going to be my moment, Saturday. Anything in the back of your mind about judging and things like that? If you do take it the distance, are you at all worried, considering what happened last time? I know we're in foreign country, but I suppose, even though he's not maybe got a deal with Boxer Tyler Denny, he's... He's sort of the home fighter kind of thing in his backyard. Any concerns with the judging? No, none at all. I never concern myself. I never concern myself before Paris. I won't concern myself now. Not in my control. I can't control the judges. Can't control the ref. Can't control anything apart from myself. So that's all I worry about. How proud a moment will it be? You know, touch wood in your mind. I know you won't be looking past him, but if you were to get announced as the winner on Saturday night, how proud a moment would that be for you? Like, it mean everything. In that moment, it mean everything. Um, obviously, like I say, more to life than boxing that, but right now, in this moment, in our moment in time, it mean, it mean absolutely everything. A big thank you. It'll, it'll be a big, massive thank you to just everyone that supported me. That, yeah, it'd mean a lot. Because you're from the Brick Lane site. You're from the, you're from the, I go to work, I go to the gym, I go to work, go to the gym. It's not been a thing where you've had I suppose masses amounts of sponsors that have allowed you to take six months off work at a time. You're still doing that hard graph. Is it sort of going to be like a moment to say, you know what, all that, all that was worth it? Yeah. So it's funny you say that. I had a few of me, my mates and friends, and there's local companies chucking a bit of money here there and everywhere. So I've been able to like pretty much train full time the last couple of weeks for this. So that's been good. Um, but yeah, because I remember seeing like Maxi Hughes and, and other fighters do it, you know, like who, who work and like they do that thing and they get the win and it inspires you. So me grafting away and, and doing my thing and training, it just like, I think I'll see a lot of other fighters maybe on the small Ollie were also working, go, yeah, go on, get in. And, and they'll hopefully follow in the footsteps. Doing it for them, doing it for them, for the working man. <laughs> the man of the people over here. <laughs> well, the man of the working people. <laughs> Um, let's talk about Tyler just quickly. What do you make of him? He's beating the likes of Brad Ray. He's, um, you know, he's, he's on a great run at the minute. I think every time, like yourself, you know, you get written off sometimes, and he keeps proving people wrong. What do you make of him as a fighter? I think he's good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, listen, I, I can't bad mouth him. I know it'd be hard to, wouldn't it? I know exactly. Like people, like you know, you're at press runs when you're doing interviews, and you think people want to see a bit of something, don't they? But I just think, nah, I'm just gonna be myself, man. The guy's done it the way, the hard way. He's stepped up every time, like nothing but respect. But people think, oh yeah, oh, he's not being bashful, he's not saying this, he mustn't be confident. Listen, when I give respect to a fighter, I'm the most confident because I'm just like, they're doing their thing, I'm doing mine. I don't have to act out, I don't have to act a certain way. I'm just doing my thing, so he's doing his thing, and mate, just nothing but respect. And 
like we're comfortable around each other. Like I'm comfortable with him. Like the way he talks, he's not really disrespecting me. I'm not really disrespecting him. But we're both quietly confident, and that makes for the best fights when people are comfortable around each other to just get in and they get to work straight away. So it's going to be good on Saturday, believe me. I guess I've just said to him, I think this is potentially fight of the night. Absolutely, the way he fights, the way you can fight. I know we obviously you've got that other side to you. Where we've seen your box and move, but when it does go to the trenches, and I'm sure it will at some point, this could really. You think this could catch fire? 100%, yeah, definitely. We've got a message for all the fans, the ones who'll be tuning in, the ones who've seen you before, the ones who are going to be new to seeing McCauley Mega on this Saturday, and everyone who's getting behind you. Uh, what have I got to say? Big man thing, yeah? That's it. <laughs> McCauley, look, always a pleasure to speak to. We know you're going to give it your all on Saturday. It's going to be a cracking fight between you and Tyler, and hopefully we can catch up after the fight. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers.